kickoff of today's uh, match day 10 game of the Nigerian Professional Football League. Nasarawa United taking qualify for the MPFL, but that did not happen along the season uh, where the Super 8 playoff in um, Aba was registered. And that was so close uh, for Nasarawa. Number 9, Ikechukun Wani. Uh, 27, Agai Kato, and number 14, Isunosu, Ibrahim again, uh, an early chance for now. Taking his out to Makama Emmanuel, he tries to take a dummy, um, but uh, the captain of the side, um, uh, Ikechuku Wani, with the captain of um, Moses, captain of Yobo's sisters, but this time it's Andala, he takes a shot! He takes a shot! What a strike! What a goal! It's a dollar! I have seen goals! And I am seeing a goal! I saw a goal! And I am seeing a goal! I saw a goal! Yes, the corner has been taken, and um, the referee says, Let's get to the end of the first or five minutes. And um, I was told that the girlfriend or the wife of uh, uh, talking about Makama Emmanuel is yet. <laughs> Attack! Ikechuku Wani! Sunuzu Ibrahim! Sunuzu! Sunuzu again! Still in the box, Sunuzu Ibrahim! It's still dusting! It's cross! Abubaka! Usmar! A low shot! Deflated! And um, Bini, despite that, there's a blessed assurance already. Uh, that's the song they are singing for the kill. Though they have never won uh, this season, but uh, I think they have what it takes, you know, to get that win against Insurance. Well, it... And I install <laughs> the air shot of Obina. I'm a goalkeeper's trainer. I'm Yahya Amin Husseini. He's popularly as Kodziko. Now we have to give first our thanks to Almighty God for at least playing a free fair play. And we all know that yes, we are not complaining about the officiating. The officiating is okay. So we hope that maybe when we go back to our home, we will try and win our home match. And putting hope by God grace, we are going to win away match again. When you look at the results today, Plateau United lost at home, Gombe United lost with Gora. So our time will come by God grace, we win away match by God grace. Yes, football is just a practical because as a coach, when you hide it, at least people are watching, it's just a practical work. Nobody will maybe try to defend his team. Maybe our players during the first half, they are not out as they play the second half. That is what really affects us in the first half. And when you look at the goals that we concede, it's just a careless mistake. Our players are supposed to close the man down that shoot the goal to result to a goal. That is what really happened. But the way I wouldn't play for on the second half, we really appreciate it. There's no anything like that pertaining three matches at as yes, there is no any three matches. All what we believe on is we are going to win our match. We are going to win our matches that remain. Even all the matches will be possible. Thank you very much. We wish the Nasarawa maybe at least maybe good luck because they are, I know they are very happy today. So we really appreciate. They will and they will come back to our home. The way how we at least how they entertain us, their fans. They didn't fight against us. They didn't abuse any of our coach. We really appreciate with their fans. We also give them the same thing when they come to our home. Well, uh, the truth is that uh, this the football is a funny game. 
Anytime you win, you say they play to instruction. Anytime you lose, you say they didn't play to instruction. This football is uh, is revolving. Today you do well, tomorrow you not uh, you come out on a bad day. They, we played uh, today and we won. And uh, what we played today is not even half of what we played at uh, Omok. Uh, we lost some chances, which is normal in the game. Uh, if you this, sometimes anxiety can cause uh, that kind of situation. We want to hurriedly do it, and at times you make mistake. But uh, the goal will come at the time you least expected, which uh, you saw. Well, I think uh, I, will, I will say let us wait and see the end of the league. But if the officiating continue this way, I'm very very sure we'll have a very happy uh, season. Yeah, apart from the goal scoring, I think uh, you can say that Nala is a motivator in the team. You need a player who can drive with the ball, who has the ball and, and say, I can do it. Not player who make 120 mistakes in 90 minutes. So we, he did well, apart from scoring the goal. He did very well. And that is, he has proof why he's there. And let's talk about um, the... Well, Sunisi, uh, I think I will attribute his uh, deficiencies today to the journey from uh, Omok. You know, we had double away from Gombe to Omok. We went and play and come back. So there's fatigue. So if you see Sonisi in a good day, you like him. There's fatigue. That is for sure. There's fatigue. Well, uh, like I said, we are ending the first phase with uh, Kaduna United. And like I said, if the officiating is good, I think I'm not having any doubt on any of my players. I have players now that if I decide to say this 11 stay aside, 11 come inside, they are capable of doing it. But for the, for the continuity of a team, you have to keep uh, changing gradually. But I'm very sure, I am very, very sure that we don't have anything that will disturb us from going up. That's well, winning away, way, you can win away and go back and that you can... Told that they have been almost sold. You can, you can win away and go back and lose at home. Mm -hmm. uh, Gombe United drew away to Heartland. And they lost at home today. The game is like that. Thank you very Thank much. You Thank you. Thank you.